It's great to be with you on a Monday afternoon as we get set for this broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks and the Orlando Magic. And it's going to be the Magic off the tip. Now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. And it's Middleton in at the small four. Now here's Shaq. Lopez with the block. Excellent off-ball awareness as Brooke was able to get over there and swat it away. Middleton the pass to Giannis. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. Middleton the pass to Bledsoe. The Bucks working the ball around. Giannis with it. Hardaway picks him up. Four on the shot clock. A three from Matthews. Headshot off. And Orlando the other way now. Outside Hardaway. About one minute into the first quarter. Kumbo kicks to Matthews. And a great assist by Kumbo as that one goes in. Yep, that's a great look from Giannis there. And it's Orlando's ball. Hardaway, that's a two-pointer. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Eric Bledsoe. The Magic shooting their first free throws of the game. Eddie Hardaway at the line for two. And he makes the first. And Hardaway's nickname came from his grandmother. She was calling him pretty. But with that southern draw, it sounded like Penny. And so it's Bledsoe. He brings it up for the Bucks. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, earlier I spoke with Orlando's head coach. We talked about how Chris Middleton is still overlooked in terms of the impact he can have on a game. Coach said, look up at the end of the night, and he always gets his numbers. He may not be flashy about it, but you have to game plan for him. So Middleton won't catch them off guard tonight. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. He gets it in there. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Here's Bledsoe following the bucket by Orlando. Pass to Lopez. Grant against Bledsoe. And Giannis gets it to go. And Giannis just gobbling up the rebound, just spreads his wing out there, and the ball falls right into it. Hardaway against Bledsoe. Pass to Royal. Grant outside. Bledsoe against Hardaway. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Well, beyond the physical stuff, what I like about Giannis right now is the feel for the game. That time, great timing defensively. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Here's Hardaway following the basket by Chris Middleton. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Penny with a terrific assist. And good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. Giannis kicks to Bledsoe. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. That's 
Bledsoe against Hardaway. Kick out to Giannis. Those two pointers off the mark. Hardaway against Matthews. Inside. Here's Shaq. Good D by Giannis. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. Yeah, you could throw that pass just about anywhere, even the top of the square for Giannis to go and get. Hardaway with it. And now time the out, first time, time out. out called here for the Magic. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. O'Neal over Lopez. Penny hits Shaq and Shaq polishes it off. And O'Neal just a brute on the block. Simply overpowers the opposition. Blunso taking his time here. The pass to Kumbo Shoots over Grant. The rebound by Grant. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Good work there as it goes. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Onto Takumbo, passes to Matthews. Hard away against Bledsoe. Here's Giannis. Just five to shoot. From deep. No good from Bloodsoe. Orlando leading. To the paint. Here's Grant. Nice pass. Right into the rack perfectly for the layup. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Here's onto Takumbo and the dunk by Giannis. Well, sometimes it takes a while for all that length in Giannis to catch up to those feet, but once he does, man, he can explode. Left side, Anderson. As a big, once you get position inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. Got that one up quick. Middleton's got five. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Now here is Hardaway. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. For the Magic. Scott comes in for Roy. Shaw subbed in for Anderson. And then for Milwaukee, Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Matthews. And it's Hill in for Eric Bloodsoe. O'Neal hits them both. So it's the Bucks now. It's a three-point game. Hill kicks to Lopez. It's back to Hill. 13 feet away. The offensive rebound. On the wing, Di Vincenzo. Tries again. That shot off the mark. Just doing the job on the back end. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Grant. Shoots over Di Vincenzo. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Bucks trail by three. On the wing hill. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Now the rhythm and timing right there, impeccable, and the experience of George Hill to recognize when to shoot off of the pass. And the dunk by O'Neal. How about the reach of O'Neal there? A huge target for his teammates on these alley oops. That's tipped, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it for the Magic. Collins checked in for Shaq. Turner comes in for Horace Grant. And it's Bowie in for Hardaway. The Bucs also changing it up. 
Ilya Sobis checked in, and it's Pat Connington in for Chris Middleton. Here is Shaw. No points in the game yet for him. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor, and they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Lopez finds DiVincenzo. No good that time. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. Here is Shaw. He's guarded by Hill. Shaw, no good. He looked like he rushed it a bit. The defense wasn't terrible, but still, he's got to knock that down. And it's Hill penetrating, and he banks in the layup. George Hill looked pretty good going to the rim that time. Not thrown off stride, and he created a nice shot opportunity. Pass to Shaw. And the layup is good. Shaw has got five now. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Ilya Sova against Turner. And Ilya Sova throws it down. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, he settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Orlando with the ball. After the basket by Milwaukee, Scott can't get it to go. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Here's DiVincenzo, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, the defender all over. It's his first trip to the line. Robin Lopez has checked in for the Bucks. Good on both. Here's Bowie. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Passes it to Shaw. Tipped away. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Teardrop shot. It's deflected. Here's Bowie. The pass to Shaw. Once again, off the mark, Orlando. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot often. Here is Shaw. Five points in the game. We've got 155 left to play in the first quarter. Six to shoot. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Pass break. Milwaukee throws up. Throws down the breakaway jam. Like to see George Hill distribute to his teammates a heads-up play there. Here is Shaw. Here's Scott. Nice follow-through on the fadeaway. Scott's got it all tied up now for Orlando. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great, scoring is coming in bunches, and both of the teams feeling confident right now. But they recover it. Here's Connaughton, and again, Milwaukee with the triple. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Here's Bowie, defended by DiVincenzo. Bowie, the pass to Shaw. Six on the shot clock. The dish to Turner. From beyond the arc. And the rebound goes to Lopez. On offense, here are the Bucks. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Here's DiVincenzo. He's covered closely. High post Lopez. Here's Connaughton. Five points in the game. He can't hit that top. Good work defensively by Turner. Here's Bowie. Gets it off. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Bucks ahead as they end the first quarter with a 13-4 run.
And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack as soon as they got the ball constantly in transition. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So on the floor for Orlando. They've got O'Neal. Shaw is out there with Bowie. Then there's Scott, and it's Turner in at the four spot. Here's Connaughton following the basket by Shaquille O'Neal. Let's it go with a three. And it's Connaughton missing. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Shaw. Basket good. Shaw has got seven points. Now, there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Here's Connaughton. O'Neal with the rebound. Shaq's got his fifth rebound in this one. Bowie gets the bucket, and that ties it up. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Lopez dishes to Hill. to the wing right side Lopez kicks to Hill here's Connaughton defended by Scott and it's Connaughton missing so it's Orlando now in the second quarter they've given up just three points and the shot goes in from Bowie and they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior now here is Hill pass to Williams Bucks passing it around. And the basket by Hill. Six points for him. Well, he weasels his way to the inside there. And that little breathing room that helped George Hill to score. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. And Orlando making a change here. Anderson's checked in. Milwaukee also making some changes. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Lopez. Chris Middleton comes in for Pat Connaughton. Eric Bledsoe is subbed in for Hill. Bledsoe outside. On the wing, Giannis. Sinks the 15-footer. And the Bucks lead by two. That jump shot looking better and better from Giannis when he gets in the rhythm becomes dangerous. Pass to Bowie. Korver against Anderson. Here is Shaw. He has seven. Back to Anderson. Trying to find Shaq. He's got it now. And there it is for him. O'Neal's got the game tied up here for the Magic. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Blunzo kicks to Williams. Passes it to Middleton. The tray trains it from beyond the arc. Middleton's got eight. <laughs> and that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. I love the aggressiveness. He's been on fire the entire first half and continues to strike while the iron's hot. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. So for the Magic, Horace Grant, he's checked in for Scott. Royal comes in for Bowie. Hardaway is subbed in for Shaw. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Matthews is checked in. Now here's Bledsoe. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And Grant sends it back. Now Anderson. Down low. Hardaway. And then Hardaway with the dunk. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth. Unbelievable. Now here's Matthews. They trail by one. Middleton outside. 
It's Matthews on the wing, defended by Anderson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. For Milwaukee, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Lopez, who's checked in for Marvin Williams. Both free throws good from Matthews. And the Magic with possession. Outside Hardaway. Anderson outside. Back to Hardaway. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. There's the pass to Antetokounmpo. Now Middleton, beyond the arc, trains the three-pointer. Middleton's got 11 points. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes, and they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Anderson against Matthews. Lopez with the steal. The shot by Middleton, wide open. The three-pointer, no good. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Trying to get open is Shea. And then Hardaway with the dunk. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team Ooh. Okay. And Giannis adding muscle to his frame for these types of situations. He'll keep getting bigger and stronger, but willing to take the hit. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. The Magic trail by three. And here is Hardaway. 12 points for him. Stolen by Middleton. And oh, here we go with Bloodsoe. Nobody back. Here's onto Takumbo. And another shot. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. One shot. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. For Milwaukee, they haven't yet missed a free throw. Five for five. And talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. Bucks leading by five. Onto Takumbo looking it over. The kick out to Lopez. And it's off from three-point range. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for Orlando. It's Anderson with the drive. And Anderson slams it in. Very little resistance against that throwdown. Nope, not what they want to see. And it came this close, Greg. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. To the inside. And to Takumbo. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. On Shaq. Well, I think the Kubo does such a great job of using all he has at his disposal, which is mostly his frame in drawing contact. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. That's good from out of the Kubo. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Now a timeout called by Orlando. You look at Anadokounmpo really making a difference here. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. The Magic trail by five. Outside Hardaway. Anderson in the post. He's covered by Matthews. As to Grant. Shot clock at six. Here's Hardaway. That one rolling around and runs out. Bucks leading by five. Bloodsoe with it. Hardaway picks him up. Shot's good by Bloodsoe. Bloodsoe's got his first bucket in this one. Do you think Eric Bledsoe felt that at all at his size, 6'1", the way he's built? I don't think so. All the way up top, guarded by Bledsoe. Grant the pass to Roy. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Out of the Kumbo finds Middleton. 
Now here's Giannis. He's covered by Grant. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Great to see Attentacupo going strong inside. At times, the D has no choice but to foul him. The Bucks have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. That's good from out of the Kumbo. Now we can talk about it over and over again. Atenta Kumbo combines size and versatility in ways we just haven't seen, at least up until the Greek Freak's arrival. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Elias Opus checked in, and it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Chris Middleton. And both free throws good for Giannis. The Magic trail by seven. Now here's Hardaway. 12 points for him. Penny with a great feed on the alley-oop. And with the height to see over people and the peripheral vision to do it quickly. Penny with the perfect setup. Loads it up for Giannis. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Pass to Shaq. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Anadokounmpo. Kicks to Matthews. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Giannis has got his fourth assist in this one. And there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Here's Hardaway, and that one comes up a bit short. Milwaukee leading by nine. Out to the wing, to the middle. Ilya Sova hits the bucket. Unselfish play there by Bledsoe. Does a great job scanning, noticing somebody's open. Get them the ball. Passes to Anderson. O'Neal with it. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Hardaway with the steal. One-on-one -on -one here. Here's Anderson. Misses off the right iron. Anderson's gone two for five tonight. Giannis against Anderson. Even Chenzo passes to Antetokounmpo. Count that bucket. Antetokounmpo's got the lead up to 11 now for the Bucks. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Even Genzo against Anderson. Hardaway with a wide open look. A three-pointer off the mark. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Yeah, Giannis has the hard hat on right now, going to work. So good, so long, and just terrorizing the deep. Now the pass to O'Neal. It's so inbound to Takumbo. Matthews against Royal, and Matthews gets it to go in on the assist by Giannis. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. There's 117 left to play here in the second quarter. Outside Hardaway. A shot missing. And Milwaukee will come the other way. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. It's good. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. The Magic trail by 17. Anderson, the bounce pass. Here's O'Neal. The Magic again can't hit. And Zoyanis will bring it up for Milwaukee. 17-point lead, their biggest. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Stolen by Bloodzone. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up.
coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Matthews against Hardaway. Sweet little floater. Hardaway has got eight points in the quarter. Yeah, and just flew it off the dribble. Great length to finish. And Hardaway attacking now with purpose. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks controlling the game and finishing the... The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, Beth. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 27 points, 11 rebounds, and one steal. And Shaq, you bestowed your Superman nickname on Giannis Antetokounmpo. What made him worthy of that distinction? And would you please, in the audience, say his last name? Anyway. Say the last name. Antetokounmpo. Close. Here you go again. Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo. But even if it's Antetokounmpo. It's like a B. Like like oh, like oh, like Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo. Got it. Anyway, He's pretty good. He can fly. What about him? Oh, man, listen, he doesn't settle. He goes at you. He dominates inside. Enter Takumpo. I will say his name correctly from now on. Wow. Really nice. That was actually pretty good. Cool. <laughs> and that'll do it. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. If you look at Enetokounmpo in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. Bucks leading by 20. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. And it's Middleton in at the three slot. On the wing, Hardaway. Guarded by Bledsoe. Hardaway dishes to O'Neal. Anderson passes to Royal. Four on the clock. From deep. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Here's Lopez. It's hauled in by the Magic. Here's Hardaway, and it comes off the front of the rim. Down low, and Lopez throws it down. Feeling more and more comfortable in this offense. That's just Chris Middleton making a play. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Pass to Royal. He's looking for Hardaway and finds him. That shot, no good. Good D by Bledsoe. Kicks it down to Middleton. This one for three. Hits it from three-point range. Middleton's got 14. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Knocks it loose. Here's Royal. Pass to Anderson. Outside Hardaway, clock is at three. Here's the lob to the hoop. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Lopez finds Matthews. At the elbow, it's Antetokounmpo. Over Grant. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Orlando shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. First free throw is good. Collins checked in for Orlando. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. So it's the Bucks now. In the second half, they've only given up one basket coming from the free throw line. 
and the Magic with possession. Here's Hardaway, feeds to Grant. Great D that time for Middleton. Not sure they realize it's not halftime anymore. Four attempts, and they're still looking for their first bucket. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Hardaway against Bloodsoe. Hardaway dishes to Anderson. To the paint. It's tipped. Here's Rollins. Lopez with the block. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. No problems knocking that one down. Middleton's got 17. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Passes it to Royal. There's the feed to Anderson. And finished off by Anderson. Well, that's a defensive breakdown. You, you can't let him get that deep. Yeah, how do you let him get a lounge chair down there and be comfortable in the paint like that? Inside, here's Connaughton. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. Bledsoe's got his fourth assist in this one. On the wing, Hardaway. Over Bledsoe. Hardaway, no good. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. Hardaway kicks to Anderson. Back to Hardaway. The kick out to Anderson. Royal the pass to Hardaway. From deep three-point range, rebound Giannis Antetokounmpo. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, we know that for years the NBA has thought about a postseason play-in tournament, get more teams and fans involved. Last year's pandemic stoppage basically necessitated its implementation. For the NBA, the disruption of business as usual enabled innovation and risk-taking. I don't want to be too hoity-toity, but it was Albert Einstein who once said, in the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. Guys, back to you. You're right. Thank you, David. Hardaway passes to Anderson. Back to Hardaway. The pass to Grant. Now Anderson. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to sink. You know, guys, fast break points right now in their favor, and, and they're really pushing the tempo. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Back to Hardaway. Buries it down low. Hardaway has got 17 now. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. Here's Giannis. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. And it's 37 points for Giannis. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Hardaway against Bledsoe, and Hardaway gets it to go. Hardaway has got five points in the quarter. Now that's how you draw it up right there, a screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Pass to Middleton, takes a three, gets the three-pointer to fall. Middleton's got nine points now in just the second half. In perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Anderson has always been a dependable role player. Uh, a strong forward with a gorgeous stroke there from deep. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Taking two shots. Free throw, good, Anderson. For the Magic, Turner's checked in for Grant. Scott comes in for Roy. Shaw subbed in for Hardaway. The Bucks also changing it up. 
Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Pat Connaughton. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. It's going to take a little more to get a Tentacumbo off of his mark there. Adept at finishing those difficult shots. He shot five of six at the foul line. Bowie, he's checked in for Anderson. One shot. Here is Shaw. He has seven. Pass to Bowie. Here's Rollins. Lopez covering. Lock at six. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Bucks ball. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. It's out of the Kumbo on the wing. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. That is all timing right there. Just led him perfectly. Scott's gone two for four so far here tonight. Turner against Giannis. He's looking for DiVincenzo and finds him. My goodness, I didn't think they could top that last dunk, uh -uh. but it only took them a couple seconds. Not much defense, Greg, on those last few possessions, but does anyone mind? Not no. at all. <laughs> Here is Shaw. He's guarded by Hill. Rollins controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Rollins got his first basket. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound. Oh, oh, wow. oh, I would love to see Giannis in the dunk contest. Wouldn't that be sweet? Here's Bowie. Out to the right wing. Shaw passes to Turner. Here's Rollins. Five to shoot. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Here's Shaw. Turner trying to free himself up. The rebound by the Bucks. Ante DeCumbo's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. He lobs up the alley pass. A decent passer for a point guard. Not traditional. I'd like to see George Hill keep on making good, decisive plays like that. Shaw passes to Scott. Over Middleton. Scott can't get it to go. On offense, here are the Bucks. Here's DiVincenzo. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. The Magic making a switch here. O'Neal's checked in, and then for Milwaukee. Ilyasova's checked in, and Marvin Williams subbed in for Andujacumbo. Here is Shaw, defended by Ilya Silva. The bucket counts, and Shaq will have another chance at the line. And it takes a lot to knock O'Neal off balance. A massive player who just fins off the D with ease. He's gone two for two at the line so far. On the free throw, no good. And it's the Bucks ball. Feeds it to Williams. Shaq takes it away. For the three. Kept alive. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebounding. Ilyasova against Scott. Outside Williams. Lets it go from deep. That one no good. And Orlando will come the other way. Passes it to Bowie. And the pass to O'Neal. 
Here's Bowie. He kicks it to Scott. Pass to Shaw. For three, not a piece of it. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Corver finds Ilyasova. 54 seconds left in the third. Here's Hill. Williams trying to break free. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Here is Shaw. Defended by DiVincenzo. Now the feed to O'Neal. Fires for three. Scott can't get it to go. Milwaukee with the ball. Here's DiVincenzo. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here is Shaw. He's guarded by Hill. Here is Shaw. Here's Shaq. Great pass to set up the lay-in. O'Neal's got four this quarter. So far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebound. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Here is Shaw. We've got Bowie. Scott is out there with Turner. Then there's Davis. And it's Shaw in at the point guard position. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. As to Bowie, here is Shaw. Six on the shot clock. Here's Davis, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the foul called on the Milwaukee Bucks. Michael Davis at the line for two. Free throw good, Davis. And both free throws good for Davis. Here's Hill. Pass to Ilyasova. Knocked away. It's stolen by Davis. Here's Shaw. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Hill shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, sometimes that length that George Hill has can put the defense in a very peculiar spot. He was terrific that time drawing the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Hill. And the athleticism that George Hill can bring to the point guard position makes him impressive. He does it so well on both ends, especially when he's engaged. Smith checked in for Bowie. 
and it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. On the wing, Scott. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Yeah, easy call. Taking two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. That's good from Scott. Scott hits them both. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Hill passes to Williams. Hill with it. A floater. Dives for it. And stolen by Scott. The three. The Magic again can hit. Here's Milwaukee now. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. The Magic making a switch here. Brown's checked in impeccable from the line since halftime. Smith outside. Over Hill. Nice shot by Smith. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Hill dishes to Ilyasova. There's the triple. Rebound by Smith. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touch by Brown. Milwaukee making a switch here. Connaughton's checked in. Pat Connaughton. And it's the Magic with the ball. Brown outside. Outside, Davis. Smith outside. Down to five on the shot clock. The rebound by the Bucks. And here's the break. And here we go. And the basket by Hill. Hill's got four points this quarter. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. Kind of get a team defensively on their heels and if you can keep pushing and keep attacking they'd never find some kind of defensive balance to help slow you down Connaughton passes to Williams good and a sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close and turnovers have been the issue for him you can see the coaches have gotten into him a little bit about this they've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball knocked loose Scott's gone two for eight, shooting just 25% from the field. Corver. Rebound by Smith. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Hill kicks to Williams. Scott with the ball. Now defended by Corver. The shot. Scott can't get it to go. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Now Brown. Brown. 
And there's the pass to Smith. He feeds it to Davis. That one good for two. Davis has got four this quarter. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. The drive by Hill. Some sour defense from Brown. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be fall. Williams with the block. Outside Hill. Dishes to Corver. To the inside, Williams drops in the layup for two. That's their third straight make off an assist. Here's Smith. He dishes it to Brown. Williams with the block. Here's Connaughton inside. Add another make to his scoring column. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting 5 of 11. And say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. Brown the pass to Smith. Shoots from the elbow. Here's Davis. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Shooting for Orlando, Michael Davis. Two shots. Two shots. And the first one drops. Rollins checked in for Orlando. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Lopez is checked in. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And here's Hill, who will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. With the floater, and plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. There's the call. It's a foul on Orlando. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws good from Hill. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. Brown outside. Kicks it to Davis. Now the dish to Turner. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. Connaughton's got four rebounds now tonight. Down low. Hill, no good. Cloak loose. Out of bounds. Magic ball as Orlando keeps possession. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for the Bucks. Dante DiVincenzo. Brown right side. Smith with it. Now defended by Corver. Out to Turner. Six to shoot. Here's Smith. Left side, Turner. Pass to Rollins. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Rollins gone one of three from the field here. From downtown, and that one's good from Connaughton. 
Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Pass to Rollins. Back to Smith. Williams with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. Brown, he's checked in for Kyle Corver. So it's Orlando now. Offensive rebound. Davis fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Here's Connaughton. And there's a nice one-handed slam. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Now, here is Smith. Not a lot of room. Shot clock at five. Fires top of the key. Rebound, Milwaukee. Connaughton's got his fifth rebound in this one. It wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. Here's Smith. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his second personal foul. At the line for your magic, John Smith. Taking two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Shaw's checked in for Brown. The Bucks also with the sub. Kyle Corver. He's checked in for Pat Connington. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And here is DiVincenzo. Passes to Williams. Lopez outside. Brown wide open. He fires. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Outside Turner. The pass to Shaw. Here's Rollins. DiVincenzo with the rebound. Rollins has gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Smith against DiVincenzo. Pass to Corver. Shot clock at six. The 18-footer is right on the mark. And, uh, hey, that's Corver's go-to. As soon as he catches that ball right there, it's going right up. Got to love that approach. Here's Shaw. And the shot goes in. Shaw has got four points in the quarter. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Here's DiVincenzo, and Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here is Shaw, defended by DiVincenzo. It doesn't go for him. The Bucks go the other way with it. 146 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Lays it up off the glass. Oh, nice drive there to get to the bucket using some of that terrific agility that he possesses. Here is Shaw, guarded by Corver. So it's the Bucks now. DiVincenzo passes to Williams. Left side, Brown. 
Lopez against Davis. Brown trying to free himself up, and that one's good by Lopez. Comfortable shooting close to the basket. The size Lopez possesses gives him confidence down low. Here is Shaw. Guarded by Korver, Shaw passes to Rollins. And no good. Now here's Korver. Pass to DiVincenzo. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Clearly a foul. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting from Milwaukee. Dante DiVincenzo. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Bowie is checked in for the Magic. Brown comes in for Shaw. That one is no good. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The first one falls. At the line, your Magic, John Smith. Smith hits them both. DiVincenzo with it. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Passes it to Lopez. Six to shoot. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. They get a bet. DiVincenzo finds Corver. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you next time.